is uh, one called Tears in Heaven in the style of Eric Clapton. And again, we talked about this earlier. He's playing a nylon string, but we're going to go over kind of kind of the first few parts of it here. So we're in the key of A, and he does some nice licks. He starts off like this. Okay, so you've got a country kind of pickup like this, which sounds very, very country guitar. Then you move to an A chord, which I just play with one finger. And I do a little hammer pull like this. That's playing the second string. And uh, I do the third fret goes on and then it comes off. So. And then you play the uh, third string second fret. Now I love this next chord. This is basically a D like this with your thumb over the top and I play it on the fourth fret. So the chord's actual name is E over G sharp. But I use my thumb again and I, I know Clapton does on a nylon string which is insane. If you try it, it's hard. <laughs> Okay, now the chord voicing Clapton uses is F sharp minor like this. Sometimes I play it like when I played it a second ago, I'll use my thumb, which is again more kind of Jimi Hendrix style. Just feels good to me, so that's the one I'm going to use. And here I'm just doing what I call like a piano style where you're playing hybrid picking. Notice I'm back to the pick. And then you walk the bass. So another thing that sounds very much like a piano is when, if you, if for those of you that have played piano, you play a chord, and then maybe you play a C chord with your right hand, and then you put a C bass note in your left hand. Now it's real easy for a piano player to just move that note. Like instead of C, he could play G, or he could play uh, B flat. Uh, those are different chords and they're called slash chords. So this is the guitar version of that. We play an F sharp minor and then we put an E in the bass. So it sounds very much like a piano. D over F sharp. Again, drop the thumb. And then you get this, what I think of as an E7 sus to an E7. So. beautiful guitar work. <laughs> 